Well, that was quite the run, wasn't it? No, no, I'm fine. I... <laughs> you, uh... You're not... No, no, it... It doesn't bother me. Leorio and I did the same, so... It doesn't bother me at all. It's just, um... No, no, it isn't because of that, it's... All right, well, it is a little bit because of that. You don't have to put your shirt back on. No, that isn't... That isn't what I meant. I just meant I don't want you to overheat and pass out. I mean, we were running for several hours. You need to cool off, don't you? You were just joking? All right, well... I'm afraid I haven't heard many jokes, at least none that were relatively appropriate recently. So forgive me if I'm a bit slow to the draw, I suppose. Really? You don't mind? You like seeing me all flustered? Well then, I suppose it's a good thing we were running for so long, isn't it? I'm sure my face is turning fairly red by now, isn't it? No, no, as I said, I'm fine. I trained for this. I know what my body can handle. And it can certainly handle more than just running for an extended period of time. Yes, even when some of that distance was upstairs. Really? You almost tripped a few times. Well, I did too, and I'm honestly very glad that I didn't, after all, running at such a high speed and running upstairs. It isn't a very good combination, and if you were to add in a fall, well, I probably would have broken my nose or any of the bones in the hands I would have used to try and catch myself. I'm sorry, what? Would I have broken any ribs? Are you wondering this because you were considering tripping someone? Then why do you wish to know what injuries I would have sustained? Very well, I suppose I can answer your question without an explanation. I suppose that it would depend on how I would have fallen. If I fell and didn't attempt to catch myself, and if I lifted my head to avoid hitting my face against the stairs, it's possible that at that speed I could have broken a rib or two. Why do you ask? <laughs> are you... Are you joking now too, or are you trying to flirt with me again? No, no. If you're flirting, I'm not bothered by it, at least not now that I know you're not joking around or trying to flirt with me because of a dare or something. It's just... I'm not used to someone genuinely flirting with me, knowing that I'm a boy and not a girl. No, it doesn't make me uncomfortable, it's just... Well, uncomfortable is a word that could be used to describe it, but that doesn't mean that I want you to stop. Look, I'm trying very hard to explain this, but, um, it's been a while since I've been around people who tolerated me and who enjoyed being in my company. Well, you know that I can be a bit harsh, and oftentimes I am a bit aggressive since, since my goals are so aggressive themselves, and, and that does affect how I behave around other people, as I'm sure you've noticed by now. You're surprised more people don't like it? Well, why's that? 
Oh. You yourself like it. Well, um... I'm... glad about that, I think? No, no, it isn't... It isn't that I... am unhappy about it, I just... don't really understand why you would... like that about me. <laughs> well, I suppose that is a good point. It does make me a bit more interesting, I suppose. And I suppose certain happy people, if they're happy all the time, it can get a bit annoying. But sometimes it is uplifting rather than annoying. Have you ever found that to be true? The only people you've known who were happy all the time were aggressively positive. To the point where it was almost toxic then? I see. Oh, right, of course. Um, as I was explaining before, I suppose that my feelings toward you flirting with me could be... I don't know. They could be described as uncomfortable, but I don't want you to stop because I'm not uncomfortable in the way that would make someone want something to stop. How should I put this? Um, you know how when you're, for instance, trying a new food and you need to get used to the taste, the texture, and everything else about it? It's sort of like that. You might make an odd expression when you first take a bite of it, and you might say that you don't like it for the first couple of bites because it's just so strange and unfamiliar to you. But then, as you take a few more bites, you start to realize that the taste wasn't bad, it was just the way you were approaching it. You had always told yourself that you didn't want to try new foods because they would distract you, and... and you thought that if you could force yourself to not like it, then you wouldn't. What I'm saying is... I want to not like this. I want to turn you away and never think about you again, except thinking about you in annoyance. But unfortunately, unfortunately, I do find myself enjoying being around you. No, no, I don't mean it as an insult to you. The thing is, yes, yes, that's precisely it. I don't want a distraction. Would a distraction be so bad? When it comes to my goals, a distraction could kill me. It could kill the people around me, and... I don't want anyone else to die. I don't want to see any more death in my lifetime, and... And I don't want to die before I can avenge my clan, the people who meant the world to me. What? No, there is nothing more to it. There's nothing more that I'm not telling you. There's... You can tell that I'm lying. How can you tell? You've noticed that when I lie to you, in the few conversations that we've had, I rub the back of my neck. You really are going to make an amazing hunter. You know that, don't you? The other thing is... Look, please don't laugh at me or judge me for saying this, but... Your flirting, and your affection, your attention. 
I've told you that I like it. And I've come to like you as well. No, that isn't... That isn't a problem. I don't mind liking you. The thing is... I once lost everyone I ever held dear to me. I lost everyone all at once. And if I'm distracted, I'll lose more people. And if I'm distracted by you... Yes. Yes, I'm afraid that I'll lose you. So please, please understand why I don't want this. Please understand that it has nothing to do with you personally. Please understand that I don't want to be the reason you die. Please understand that. Why can't you just understand that? Why are you refusing to... I know. I know that you're training to be a hunter too, but that doesn't mean... How? How does it mean that this could work? How does it mean that this could be okay? You'll be trained to defend yourself, yes, but... But there is no telling what could happen to you. There is a reason there is such a high price on the heads of the members of the Phantom Troop. There is a reason for it. No one can get close enough to kill them without risking their lives, and most of the time... If they get close enough, they die. Or worse. If you were to get close enough to hurt them, either it would be because you were their hostage, or you were their next target. And I know. I know that you can defend yourself. I know that you're strong. And I know that if you pass this test... It will prove that you are strong enough to protect yourself. But... But there is no guarantee that you would be safe. And... And I can't... I just can't. Please, please try to understand that. Please try... Not to look at me like that. Please. Really? You'll... You promise that you understand this? You promise that you're not just saying that to make me feel better? Why can't you promise me that? Because it isn't true? Why... Why do you have to be so stubborn? I want to protect you. Doesn't that show how much I care about you? Doesn't that give you the proof that you need that I care about you the same way? Why... Why can't you just... What did you say? You... You said... We need to go. This... This conversation isn't over. No, it isn't. Why not? Because you just said that you love me. 